Hey guys, I am so freaking hungry. <laughs> so I've actually never had a Chipotle burrito. I always get their bowls, but I thought a burrito would look better for the thumbnail, so. <laughs> Honesty though. Yeah, son. Oh, guys, come on camera, pick this up, yes. Guys, my mouth is starting to water. Oh my gosh. My burrito wouldn't fit in here, so they had to double wrap it, which just means I get twice the tortilla calories, but. Inside of here, I have uh, black beans, brown rice, corn, chicken, sour cream, lettuce, cheese. I think that's everything. Yeah. So good, you guys. And look at this little bag of chips. <laughs> I wanted to get some chips because I wanted a crunch factor to the video but I didn't really want to get a whole bag of chips, uh, which would probably have been a way better deal because it was only like 45 cents more and you got a lot more than this. But I think that this will suffice because I don't really want the chips. So I got this and I got, I got guacamole, which bro, this is like, what was it? Like $2 extra, two something? You know how many avocados I can get for two something? Two. I also, for the first time, got one of their sauces. Oh no, the lady never gave me my side of sauce. All right, lady, I see you. I had asked for a side of sauce, but she never gave it to me, so I don't have a side of sauce. Mm. 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 Okay. Definitely smells like fresh avocado. Oh yeah, definitely not worth a dollar. There's, I think, six chips in here. Definitely total ripoff. Mm. Mm. Okay. Heck yeah. Oh, oh, son. I'm like debating on whether or not I'll go back and get the sauce that I asked for. <laughs> it's like Chipotle is still in walking distance, but I'm kind of busy, so she had it packed up by the time that I came back because I went to go get some water. By the time I came back, um, everything was already packed. Definitely fresh. 
so good. I think I got their uh, guacamole one time because this Chipotle is right next to a grocery store. I can just go buy my avocados and do this myself. But, mm. This is really, this is really good. Um, I, I guess I'll never know what that sauce tasted like, but this is really good. So, I made it a resolution <clears throat> to really cut down on how much I eat Taco Bell. <laughs> and to really, really cut down on how much I eat Hot Cheetos. My peak weight for the fall of 2016 was 206 and I'm 196 so in the past three months I've lost uh, like 10 pounds I'm a little bit less than 196 but I'll just say 196 and so I really need to lose weight <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do but obviously not at this moment so <laughs> This burrito <laughs> looks almost as big as my head. And that's saying something. Because I um, put my hair in this bun today. And the bun is really tight. Which makes my head look extra big. <laughs> so... Part of me really wants to know what that sauce tastes like. Mm. Decisions, decisions. I do think I'm gonna go back and get that sauce. I'm gonna run in here right quick. I really hope no one steals my camera. Um, if they do, then, well, you'll never see this. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I have the sauce. It's cold. <laughs> so I parked a bit away from Chipotle so that I can have some privacy. And it's, it's raining. It's not, it's in between a rain and a sprinkle. But yeah, so walking back to Chipotle, I had to walk through the rain to get there. And the lady, I, was just in a like a Debbie Downer mood. Um, she was like, can I help you? I was like, yeah, I had asked for some green sauce and it wasn't in my bag. And my green sauce, or whatever, it's kind of green, I don't know, whatever this sauce is, it was sitting there because the lady originally had packed it up but she never put it in my bag. 
And so it was next to her, so she got it and she like slid it across the counter to me. And she didn't say anything, and so I walked away. So her mood kind of pissed me off a little bit. And if I wasn't in a good mood, I would tell her a little piece of my mind or the person who's above her. But I'm gonna let it go because, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> I mean, it, it's annoying. Like, I just walked it through rain to get something that you guys forgot to put in my bag. You don't apologize, you don't do anything. You don't even talk to me when you like slide me something across the counter? No, nah dog. But I happen to like the rain, so I'm not gonna let it annoy me. And I really hope that this sauce was worth it. it smells like chilies, like roasted chilies. It's good, it adds a nice spice to it. And I like that because this is a big burrito to have only like one flavor continuously throughout. <laughs> have you guys ever seen the music video um asking all them questions <laughs> um at some point in that one of the dudes he's eating pizza and he's like this is how you eat the booty <laughs> What you know about this pizza, boy? Mmm, 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 girl. Mmm, girl, mmm, girl. Mmm, just how I eat the booty. Man, so Trisha Paytas had her um, 10 year YouTube anniversary and she spent it with Shane Dawson and I had clicked on the video and I saw that it was like 55 minutes long and I was like who's gonna watch 55 minutes of this and then I ended up watching all of it <laughs> and I think the main thing that intrigued me was that they were talking about YouTube and the perks and how people are on camera and how they are on off camera how they are on off camera <laughs> how they are off camera since YouTube is something that I'm pursuing I'm very interested in that aspect of it and something that I thought was kind of cool is they were talking about how introverted they are and how a lot of youtubers have that introverted depressed side and they don't really show that on camera and I was just like Bro, that's me. <laughs> you know, one of my resolutions for 2017 is to make new friends. <laughs> well, make friends in general. Yeah, I want to make friends, but at the same time, I don't really like people. And I'm very, very selective. And one thing that I know that um, a lot of people don't really like about me is that I don't lie to make you feel good. Like, if something's bothering me, I will tell you that it's bothering me or if you're not one of my favorite people in the world I'm not gonna pretend you are <laughs> and a lot of people don't like that and um, I'm just very honest and so some people have to get over that 
something that I realized is that before I used to have kind of like, I don't know if they would be classified as anxiety attacks or panic attacks or something. Um, but I know that if I didn't have at least one person to make me comfortable, like if I was in a, in a room where everybody's a complete stranger to me, but in some way they know each other, I would have like these little attacks. And um, it's only really happened to me twice in my life. I know the last time that made it like really obvious that there was something like wrong with me. <laughs> um, I met my sister, um, her husband, his side of the family. We all went on a hike and this was like some years ago, probably like four or five years ago. And she went to the bathroom, she was pregnant and he went to go throw something away. Like I had something in my hand, like I was holding on to trash and he's like, oh, I'll throw it away for you. And I was like, no, oh, no, it's okay. He's like, don't worry about it. Being the nice guy that he is, he took it from my hand, went to go throw it away. So now I was surrounded by his family alone. And um, his family, obviously, they all know each other. And I'm just the odd man out standing there. And so from afar, they would like smile at me and stuff like that. But for some reason, it made me really uncomfortable. And I kind of started backing myself into a corner. I started just like crying. Like I started bawling my eyes out, waiting for my sister to come back. Yeah, I've, I've, I've come really, really far. <laughs> but I still... It's almost like a preference now. Like, I just don't like being around people. There's some moods where I just crave being around people, where I just want to go out and have a life and have friends and stuff. But I don't think it should be like that. Like, I'm only 21 years old and I don't really have a social life. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, that's something that I definitely, I need to start working on that. So, <laughs> yep just in case you guys were wondering about my life. <laughs> Literally, can you even see in this? <laughs> this is all I have left. <laughs> I should have been counting. I don't know if these little chips count as a chip, but there definitely wasn't more than seven regular sized chips. I don't know if this bag was supposed to be like filled up, but I don't think Chipotle, the company, would want seven chips in there for a dollar. Between the amount of chips, missing my sauce, and the customer service, Chipotle, you're not doing well. But these ingredients taste very fresh, so you have that. Also, I don't know if it's just like my Chipotle, but it seems like everybody who works there is attractive. Like my goodness, seriously. The girls, the guys, you walk in, it's just like, why are you all so nice looking? Like I think it's almost like walking into In-N-Out. Trust me on this. In and out, at least the ones where I live, definitely have a look that they're going for. Like everybody in there looks very clean cut, fresh faced, like presentable. And at Chipotle, it seems that most of them have some type of visible tattoo, like on their arms, on their somewhere. And yeah, they all just have this edge to them. I think that's very interesting. Mm. Yeah, they're all beautiful. 
and they're all young. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I wonder if that was like a coincidental thing or if it's like an on purpose thing. I mean, I've been living where I live for six years and I live right next to In-N-Out. And then Chipotle, I've had my first time going to Chipotle three years ago, something like that. And so it's not an observation from going there one time. It's something where every single time I go in these places, there's some type of trend going on. <laughs> I don't really care what you look like as long as I get good service, but this edgy chick just gave me crappy service. else I've noticed and this is kind of just an excuse for me to not leave my house <laughs> but I've noticed that okay I leave my house looking like a hot mess probably 82% of the time I hardly ever wear makeup um, especially when I don't have anywhere important to go and I just, I don't feel like putting on nice clothes because if I put on nice clothes, now they're not clean. And I don't really feel like doing the laundry again, so I'll just wear my crappy clothes or I'll wear the nice clothes, try to not get them dirty and just wear them again. <laughs> um, but every time that I just walk out of my house to look comfortable or whatever, like if I'm going around the corner, either there's someone I know there or someone attractive there. And this is becoming just more and more true as the days pass. And it's just like, how? How? Why? Why are you outside while well, I'm outside? <laughs> um, but no, really. And especially if they're attractive, it's just like, oh, dang it, what's wrong with me? Like, why didn't I take this extra couple minutes to not look like this? But um, yeah, and then when I actually try to look nice and presentable and then I go outside, nobody's there. No one attractive, no one I know. I'm just out <laughs> but yeah so I'm trying to make myself be somewhat presentable when I go out of my house and um, yeah I don't really have a point to that but just so you know <laughs> I'm trying to work on going out into the world I think I'm pretty like good on eating at the moment. I kind of just want to take a nap. I haven't eaten like this in a little bit. I haven't really sat down and had, this isn't, I don't really count this as junk food because all this stuff kind of seems good for you. The quantity is a lot, but yeah, I haven't done this in a while. I haven't sat down and done a mukbang, mukbang, whatever it is <laughs> in my car in a long freaking time. Release me from the present, I'm obsessed in all these questions Why I'm in denial that they tried the suicidal session Please use discussion when you're messing with the message mail These lyrics are for everyone, no leave you understand My people singing People singing <laughs> All right, let's talk about my favorite band, 21 Pilots. All right, I have a lot of bands that I like. Actually, no, I don't. 
I have a few bands that I like. I really like Blink-182. I used to really like Simple Plan. I don't really listen to them much anymore. I really like Parachute. This isn't a band, but Avril Lavigne, the, her older stuff, I really liked her. But yeah, anyway, 21 Pilots has made its way to being my favorite because a lot of their music has religious undertones to it. Um, not even undertones. A lot. Of, go back into their old stuff. A lot of their stuff has religious overtones to it. And Tyler Joseph, a lot of his independent songs, whoo, that man gives you the feels. He gives, that man gives me the feels. So many of his songs just like reach a part in my soul. And um, when I first started going to his old stuff, I was like, why isn't this played on like Christian radio stations? Like, why don't they play this? And then I was like, oh, okay. A lot of Christian radio stations play like worship songs. And a lot of his songs do with depression and doubt and suicidal thoughts and like going back and forth and confliction and contradiction going on inside. And um, yeah, so I think that's maybe dangerous waters to religious stations and they just want it to be a praise and a happy thing and he he just has this way of saying like it's not always a happy thing but this is something that i'm choosing because this is something that i feel is right and he does it in such a poetic way and oh my i i just i love i love his songs anyway i've talked for a long time i've talked for so long i'm so so sorry um i feel like i haven't really had time to like chat with you guys so i just want to talk <laughs> i'm just hoping that you guys are having a rad day i'm hoping that you guys if you guys make resolutions i'm, ho I'm hoping that you guys stick to them <laughs> and if you made resolutions and you slip up it's all right i ended up getting two waters looks like your ex isn't the only one who's thirsty <laughs> <laughs> you know i entertain myself and that's okay <laughs> i mean when you're always alone you have to laugh at yourself <laughs> all right i'll see you guys later my name's Lexis Amore David. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for eating with me. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.